Welcome to Life with Gary. Today we have the all new Nice Day Elliptical Cross Trainer. So I'm going to unbox this for you and put it together and show you how it works. So this just arrived. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box. The box is quite heavy. And this sells on Amazon. The price is $6.99.99. Right here, it comes with the assembly instructions. All the pieces are inside, so we're gonna go ahead and take them out. So stay tuned, and I will show you what we have inside. So we got everything out of the box, so this is exactly how it looks when you take it out. We have the machine here, which is quite heavy. So yeah, it's kind of a hassle to get it out of the box, because that is a beast for someone like me that's like 140 pounds yes it's, it's hard to get that out of the box um, so we have all the pieces here to assemble they're all individually wrapped which is nice we have the computer and then we have the instructions so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with the assembly so it just has some important safety information here it has parts list so it tells you what every piece is and then it has step-by-step -step assembly instructions so we're gonna go ahead and unpackage each of these and we're gonna go ahead and put it together so stay tuned so we got the front and back stands screwed on those are pretty easy to get on there they already had the screws on there you just have to take them off and re-screw them on they come with this handy dandy wrench which is easy to use um, they already have the washers on there so just take them off put them back on and the one with the wheels is for the front the one without the wheels is for the back and the one on the front it has a sign that says up so just make sure you pay attention and put the upside up and there's the wheels right there so this is the one for the front so we're gonna go ahead and continue putting this together and we did go ahead and this part the long bar right there that was already uh, pre-assembled all I did was just stand that up um, it just basically just folds right up from the wheel so all you do is just push that right up and there you go and this is the rest of the installation and there's the screws so we will continue with the process so stay tuned okay so we're back and we finished the this part with the screws so we had to get the m15 85 bolt for step 16 and the m15 20 for step 17 so we got those locked in right underneath here so you can see everything screwed in properly right there and then we just put the cover over top so everything's underneath okay and we got the little ceiling ring right there on top of the cap it just locks right on it opens right up it goes right over top Alright, so we screwed on these handles. That was pretty easy. The screws are already in. And we just put this little cover on. It just snapped right on. Pretty simple. So next we're going to put the other handles on. Alright, so we got the larger rocker handles on. They're labeled right and left, which is very convenient. They have the screws and the washers already inside. So you just got to unscrew them. And you just... Put them back on with that handy dandy wrench, which is easy, easy peasy. So now we just have a couple of last steps. We just got to put the screw covers on the monitor and the pedals, and then we'll be done. We'll be all set to give this a go. Okay, so we put the little screw covers on right here. They connect it right on. Just pay attention when you do put them on because they are labeled inside right and left so they are specific to the side or else they will not work and right here we have the little display so it comes with these batteries so we're gonna go ahead and put them inside and then we'll go ahead and follow that step 
And then the last step is we just have to install the pedals and then all will be complete. It's all ready to go. Just push the button. We got it all connected. There's a connection inside that you have to use. And then the heart rate connects right there. Super easy. And then you just uh, screw on those screws right there with the included screwdriver. Super easy. So we got the pedals on. They screw on with those screws. You just screw underneath. You just tighten them with the wrench. So we got everything all set up now. Pretty easy to put together. Took about an hour, I would say, for me. It might be faster for some of you guys because I'm not the most handy person in the whole world. Um, but uh, I will show you a little demonstration, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to show you a quick demo of this machine. The elliptical by Nice Day. I had to remember the name. Nice Day. <laughs> nice Have a nice day. day. See you on it all. So uh, it has different resistance levels from 1 to 16. So you can manually adjust it right here. So we're going to start with level 1. And we can change it however we want to as we go. So first, before we uh, get on, we're going to reset it. You just have to hold in the button. And this resets it so it'll start a new workout for you every time. And you can either hold on to the, the swinging handles, the rowers. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, swinging handles, the rowers. Or you can have, hold on to the pulse bars. Um, these are probably better if you want to get an arm workout too. And you just go ahead and go. It's just like riding a bike, standing up. It's very smooth. You can't really hear it at all. It's very, very quiet. Easy to use. The setup is easy. So we'll go ahead. This is resistance level at one. Yeah, that's it's very fine. easy. That's so we'll go ahead and we'll just clean it up a little bit. So I play at level seven. So that gives just a little bit more of a little bit more tension so you get a little bit better of a workout so yeah it tells you the time it tells you the distance it tells you the speed and it tells you the calories and of course put your hands here it tells you your pulse so that's pretty much it super nice product i hope this review helped you out and thank you so much for watching bye